Hello there, you beautiful human being. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ian, why are you going to North Korea, the most dangerous and isolated country in the world, during the most beloved holiday in the world? And that, my friends, is precisely the reason that I'm going. Christmas doesn't exist in North Korea, and neither does anything else. You see, for the past several decades, North Korea has been under an extreme dictatorship. They've made threats to the rest of the world, and they don't let any of their citizens leave, regardless of the harsh conditions they're put through. On top of that, there's no religion, no social media, no outside trade, and it's extremely poor. Which is why I'm bringing Christmas to North Korea. And it's also the reason I've added a fundraiser to this video, which you'll see here or here, for North Korean refugees, which I'll talk about more later. So, not only will I be infiltrating the country as an unsuspecting spy, and if you're wondering, yes, these are spy glasses and they have cameras on them. Ian, you can't be a spy if you just told everyone you're a spy. Well, actually, I'm not going to post this video until successfully infiltrated the country. So if you're seeing this right now, you know what that means. But seriously, y'all, these things make me look like Harry Potter. I know it too. And now all that's left to do is to fly to Korea dressed as Santa because this year Santa's coming to North Korea. I'll see you at the airport. Oh, I'm going to be late for my flight. Did y'all like that Naruto run though? If you did, hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 10 million subscribers before the end of the year. And if we do, I'm gonna host the world's biggest Naruto run and I'll only be inviting my subscribers. So subscribe to lock in your place. And while you're at it, get this video to 200,000 likes because in the spirit of doing dangerous things, there's people literally walking around right now. <laughs> they have no idea what I've got planned, y'all. Dangerous things such as boarding my flight to North Korea. Imagine if they were like, we're trying to find Ian Boggs right now, Ian Boggs making a YouTube video. But yeah, if we get this video to 200,000 likes, I will attempt to survive the city with no laws. It's only a couple of hours away from where I live. That's scary. So if you want to see me do that, hit that like button and get this video to 200,000 likes. All right, now let's get on this plane so I can tell y'all my North Korea game plan. People are literally watching me right now. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we're on the plane now. And just in case I don't ever get to experience being on a plane again, after going to North Korea, I decided to get myself a nice business class seat. Look at all this leg room. And now a little B-roll. Looks pretty sick, huh? And I got this nice seat because, you know, if I go out, I'm gonna go out in style, dressed as Santa on a plane. And style can't afford first class tickets, but that, that's fine. Because here's our North Korea game plan. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, Ian, how in the world do you have access to North Korea? And that, my friends, is because I have someone on the inside. Special intel that no one but the almighty Ian Nation Battalion could have acquired. And that, my friends, is our little friend that I like to call TripAdvisor. I wish I was joking, but I'm really not. If you go to TripAdvisor and type in North Korea DMZ tour, you'll literally get multiple tour offers of people ready at the stables to take you to the demilitarized zone on the border of North Korea as a tourist. But little do they know? I'm no ordinary tourist. I'm Santa Claus, baby. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go onto my sleigh now and get to Korea safely, so I'll see y'all there. Y'all, we are in Korea! Oh man, this is a great view. And no one told me it was this, you can see my breath, this cold. It's 20 degrees out here. There's snow and ice everywhere, but hey, it sends natural habitat. Snow, let's go. But also it's 7 p.m. currently. So let's start that timer right now so we know how much time I spent in Korea. And I have to be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow to go to North Korea. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. So let's go into my hostel. I can't speak, it's so cold. And discuss the challenges I'll have to face as Santa bringing Christmas to North Korea. Let's go. Challenge number one. I must make a new friend and sing them a Christmas carol I wrote myself. Trust me y'all, it's a good one. I wrote it on the train ride here. <laughs> and convert them into being a Christmas lover. Which we'll confirm by asking them. Because the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Dude, I did not just fall there. Also, I totally came up with that on my own. Challenge number two. Someone's outside my door right now and I'm freaking out. <laughs> they can hear me for sure. Get a gift from the gift shop and give it to a new friend. Which brings me to the fundraiser that you may have noticed to the right of the screen or the bottom, depending if you're on your computer or on your phone. Since there's only so much I can do as one person bringing attention to the problems that North Koreans have to face, I've set up a fundraiser that sends all profits to the Liberty in North Korea nonprofit, an organization that helps North Koreans escape the brutality they face in their own country and helps save North Korean refugees. This is also my first time setting up a fundraiser on my YouTube channel, and I hate asking you guys to do things involving money, but it just 
didn't feel right if I didn't do this. So if you're considering it, let's achieve the goal of $10,000 to help save North Korean refugees. And I'm going to do my best to make this an enjoyable video so that it catches the algorithm and spreads awareness. And just as a quick disclaimer, I want to make it clear that this video is not a political video whatsoever. I don't want to offend anyone or anything, so please take it lightheartedly. And with that being said, challenge number three, make someone smile. Because the best way to spread holiday cheer. Yeah, we've all seen Elf a million times, Ian. I know, I'm looking at you, mom. But all right, y'all, I have to be awake in approximately five hours to make it to North Korea. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Please pray for me. Also, the rest of this video is probably gonna be filmed on my iPhone because if I'm talking to strangers, it's much less intimidating to go up with my iPhone opposed to this big camera right here that you're looking at. And I might just use the spy glasses if we have to. Do you guys hear that? Or just talk to me. All right, that was weird. But okay, y'all, tomorrow's the day. Let's do this thing. Good morning, y'all. It is currently 6 a.m. And I cannot believe how busy Seoul is already. It's crazy. And literally no one is bothered at the fact that there's a man walking down the street in a Santa Claus outfit. But uh, I can't find the meeting point. It's real quick though. Look at how beautiful Seoul is at night. Or should I say morning? I would absolutely love it, however, if it wasn't so cold. Look at all that ice. It's colder than Iceland out here. And I would know because I was just there and I found the vlog there. And you should check it out after this one. It was really cool. <laughs> and really amazing. Let's go find my tour guide. I have found the meeting point. How did I do it? Because I heard a bunch of Americans. So now we just wait for the bus and get on when they arrive. Bus is here, my dudes. Let's get on. All right, y'all. So we got on the bus. And it was pretty sick. She explained to us the history of the DMZ and that it's basically a strip of land that goes from one coast of Korea to the other coast of Korea, separating South and North Korea. But in between it is a demilitarized zone, the DMZ. It's really hard to explain. You can look it up later. And we're gonna go down this underground tunnel, she said. But now I'm gonna take a nap. So we got an hour drive to get there. All right, y'all made a new friend. Her name's So Young because she's so young. Is that why? Or? I'm so young. <laughs> yeah, so forever young. Forever, exactly. And we're, she's, a, she's a tour guide, so we're gonna check her out. Check out what is this very called again? The MZ tour. Uh, MZ tour. It is now in Jingak Park. In Park. All right, so we're gonna walk around and show you guys what it's about. Oh my gosh! It is so cold. I was telling our tour guide that like, I was just in Iceland and it's not anywhere as cold as this. I don't exactly know which way is north or south just yet, but they have like a little carnival over there. That's so interesting. But okay, so I guess that's the DMZ. People are starting to compliment the Santa Claus outfit. So I think we're doing a good job here. Green Christmas in Korea. I just made a new friend, what's your name? Rob. Rob, that's his name today. Are you from Toronto? Yes. Toronto, let's go. Ryan Train, and I have a new VR series idea for you. Go to North Korea. Actually, I might do that. That sounds crazy. <laughs> all right, so the tour has begun, but all I can think of is how my toes are about to fall off because of how bad I'm freezing right now. So this is the North Korean bill they use for currency out there. And apparently it's one tenth the amount of a Korean bill, a South Korean bill. That's insane. All right, y'all, so we're walking through the park and then we get to the CCL line. And at this point, we are closer to North Korea than we are to South Korea, within the DMZ. So while you're on that bridge, you cannot film to the sides of you, which is very interesting because behind that bridge, you are allowed to. Logic, I suppose. Anyways, it's time to get back on the bus and get a little bit closer to North Korea. I'll see you guys there. I just walked into the gift shop and she recognized me and she was like, Oh, and I was like, yeah, I'm Santa today. Oh, that's so, that's so cool. They're like enjoying the Christmas holiday spirit out here. I love it. We're bringing Christmas to Korea, y'all. We're doing it. Getting a photo. <laughs> We need a new friend again, Sangi. <laughs> and you like Christmas? Oh. Yeah? Okay, we got it. Let's spread the Christmas cheer. Yes, Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna get this. It's an American and K South Korean flag. You're ending each other. So this is this is really cool. This is like what this video is about. I'm not sure if she knows what I'm saying, but I'm gonna get this and try to give it to her. Okay, let's see. Because you're so nice to me, I wanna give it to you as a gift. <laughs> okay, have a good one. Thank you so much. Merry Thank Christmas, you. Merry Christmas. Merry have a good one. Awesome. Do you wanna say bye? Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. Alright y'all, so now that is two challenges complete. I think we've made like four friends so far. I don't know what the counter's at, but I've given a gift. I got a Christmas gift to someone who really enjoyed the Christmas spirit. <laughs> That's so cool. She was telling me, she was like, ah. and I was like, ah, you got it. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Oh my gosh. Am I bus here? Am I bus leave without me? Am I stuck at the Z am I, am I stuck at the DMZ? <laughs> Oh, thank goodness it's here. And now let's go to the Underground Railroad and I'll see you guys there. All right, so we've arrived at the area where we're gonna go into the Underground underground Tunnel, right? Is where we're going? Yeah, Tunnel is there. Yeah. But before that, I guess we're watching the movie. This is an example of what we're gonna go into. All right, so we can't bring our cameras or phones inside. So you know what that means? I'm gonna bring my glasses inside just in case something happens where I gotta see because I gotta care for my own safety, right? Let's go inside and check out the tunnel. All right, y'all, we are now going into the tunnel. And let me tell y'all, 
This thing was not made for someone who is six feet tall like me. You can see that these people coming up are like dying of breath right now. It was a long, long walk. But if you think about it, it is very significant because in person, it doesn't look like much, but the history and culture that this place holds speaks multitudes. There's so much history that happened in this place, DMZ, and to be here in it, where everything happened. It's absolutely insane. So now we're going back up. We're gonna show the rest of it. Hey y'all, we are now up high at the viewpoint of the DMZ. And right over there is North Korea. That's insane. Let's look at the binoculars. You are now looking at North Korea. That is crazy. Right over there. Wow. Also made a new friend, Flo. From Germany. From Hi. Germany. Hi, Flo from Germany. Let's go. I am keep pronouncing it incorrectly. <laughs> nice to meet you now. Getting a photo with the boys. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> International boys. Yeah. Nice, nice. So we found out that the river over there is still South Korea. Right over there. And past that is North Korea. That's crazy. But as I was saying, there's one more thing left to do. I gotta find a new friend to sing a Christmas carol too. A Christmas carol that I wrote on the train ride to Seoul. Which my soul speaks multiple. What the heck? I can't speak, it's so cold. It speaks multitudes too. So I think it's time to get back, make a new friend, and make them listen to my Christmas carol. Because the best way to spread holiday cheer is singing loud for all to hear! Hello! <laughs> what's up, y'all? So this is my old roommate from college, Casey. Say what's up, yo. Hello, hello. Hey, oh where my you God, from? I'm where you falling. from? I'm from America. Oh, shoot. And where are you living now? Korea. Korea, let's go! Okay, so Casey, I have a, oh, basically, uh, so I know the, the challenge required me to do a new, not do, uh, required me to sing a Christmas carol to a new friend, but since Casey and I haven't seen each other in like two years, well, we, we saw each other, but we haven't like actually talked and like hung out in like other. two years, I'm gonna sing you a Christmas carol, is that cool with you? Yeah, sure, Okay, all right, all right. All right, here, here we go. I wrote this on the train, okay? Okay, you want me to dance to it too? Oh, oh yeah, she's a dancer. She she trains wow. K-pop stars, y'all. You've probably seen it if you watch K-pop. Okay, if you watch K-pop, listen, uh, listen to K-pop. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right, you ready, you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ready. try my best, I'm not a singer, but okay. Three, two, one. Christmas time is here. Let's all get together and cheer. Because Christmas time is the time for all to kick back and have a great ball. Hey. Hey, 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 my, hey, my friend, you and me, sipping on some tea while Santa breaks in and steals all the cookies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah and, and now it's time to uh, say goodbye. But before I do, I want to say to you, don't forget to take home your pie because like it was good, but like not that good, you know. So. Um, you have pie for me. Yeah, Christmas time is here. <laughs> Let's all get together and cheer. Hey. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, KC, for listening. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you back at the hostel. Oh, and you want to say bye? Yeah. To these see amazing, guys. beautiful people. Bye, see you guys at the hostel. Yeah. Woo. All right, my friends, we are now back at the hostel, and it is a mess. So don't look at it. Wow. What a day it has been. All while being dressed as Santa Claus, going to the DMZ, the literal border of North Korea, and meeting such nice and amazing people from around the world there, to singing a Christmas carol. I honestly still can't believe I did that. This whole journey and trip was one for the books. And I do want to address that. Yes, I did not in fact actually get a chance to go into North Korea. But after doing a lot of research, anyone who's actually allowed into North Korea is only allowed to see what the government wants them to see. They don't show the famine, the amount of people trying to escape, and the wrongs that go about in the country. Which again is the reason I set up the fundraiser attached to this video. If you're considering donating, I promise you, you'll be helping out so many in need. It's Christmas, and what better way to spend it than putting out some more good into the world. And with that being said, it's time for this journey to come to an end. As always, thank you, my Ian Nation Battalion, for watching this video until the end. And please, calmly, DESTROY that subscribe button to get us to 10 million before the year ends and to join the world's biggest Naruto run! And while you're at it, hit that like button and get this video to 200,000 likes to send me to the city with no laws. And leave a comment of your favorite part of the video. Alright y'all, I'll see you in my next video. Stay beautiful, Ian Nation. Battalion, peace.